Who's house? Rams out. <laughs> Go cry about it. Go cry about it in San Francisco. Go LA. It's crazy. There's so many fucking Niners fans out here that are fucking rooting for the Niners and they'll go and root for the Dodgers. Get the fuck out of here. It's LA, baby. LA. Ash house is about four to five hundred miles down the road. This ain't the Niners house, baby. It's so far. It's so far, baby. Hello, everybody. This is Jacob Matthews with Fango Media outside of SoFi Stadium, interviewing fans at the 49ers and Rams game. I can tell by the way you're walking over here that you. It actually matters. Y'all gonna be out, and guess who's gonna take you guys out? 49ers. Nine nine gang gang. Wow, wow, wow. It, it is but 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 what happened today? Like, what y'all had it in the bag? Why? Yeah, it's just a little like so y'all can feel good and everything. Right. You know, can get in the game and get in that season feel. But at the end of the day, at the end of the season. You seem not concerned. You're like, screw the Rams, screw this game, doesn't even matter. You ready to move on? I am, because that, that's pretty much how it is every year, every season. So therefore, let's go, Niner gang! Is the Spanish culture big about the 49ers? Oh, is that yes, definitely. They are. In Mexico, in France, everywhere. With all these injured players? That's a good win. You almost were 0-3. Now, now you're 1-2. You got a little momentum. How you feeling going into next week? It's like I always say, at the beginning, every team's struggling. Right. After October, that's when we should start. Yeah. And this could be the start. The start yeah, to and the we momentum. have a good team. This, this, we put a lot of our well, teams we had in preseason. A lot of our players we had in preseason. So, yeah. We're doing good. This is nothing new. We've been here doing this. Every day, every day, it's nothing new. What Bitchful. time is checkout? <laughs> 11 a.m. for the Rams, so they need to check right, out. Right. This is an Airbnb for him. To, for them, they do not own this. It's always a Niners house. It's a Bay over a, a Bay Area takeover. Our scrubs are better than their scrubs. I think we established this last season. Now we establish it again. We have better backups than they do. Like they're, they're 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 too top heavy. Hey, Matthew like, Stafford balled out though. He did. Yeah, Matthew Stafford did what he's supposed to do. That's what they give right. him the money for. Right. And so it was a great game. I'm happy about it. I know. I'm sure you're glad that y'all stayed in the game and didn't leave. I saw a lot of Rams fans leaving early. Oh no, we we went up to the higher concourse just to watch it from like above. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, there were some people leaving early. I saw. He's like all the 49ers fans yeah. just ready to walk out of here. Like we see Sean McVay creeping in the foreground. They were a lot more eager to talk to me earlier when they were walking out. Oh yeah, out. no, they, they, they're very <laughs> cocky to begin with, and they they think they own this place. You know well, that? Well, I mean, I don't I don't know how they feel about it right now, but I <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit worse. You know what? We've been losing, but <laughs> the the thing that keeps us going is us each other. All my Rams fan want to come here. That's all we got. Right. And if they ain't with us, they against us. You know, you got to play hard, right? You can never quit on the game. And it, it was looking, it wasn't looking good at first, right. but you know, fought hard, came out of halftime, made plays when we needed to make plays, and uh, we won the game. Hell yeah! Right. Without Cooper Cup, without Pook in the cook. All we, you only can, you only can dance with the girls that come to the party, baby. Right. But look, to come back and whoop that ass, we did it. Let's go, right. baby! Look, the Niners fans talk a lot of the trash. Niners house is about four to five hundred miles down the road. <laughs> This ain't the Nana's house, baby. It's so far. It's so far, baby. Hey, have a nice flight, everyone. Have a nice flight to Northern California. F you guys. Bye. See you guys. See you guys. Have a good night. Have a good night. Have a good night. Man, Ronnie Bell, that special teams, we just laid an egg today, man. We should have right. won 24-7, bro. I know that fake punt just kind of started a bad momentum. We just got work and we got to outplay today, bro. We got to come up and come back better. Right, yeah. Ronnie Bell, that motherfucker can't even get on the motherfucking bus. Damn. All right, Ronnie Bell. <laughs> Don't get on the bus. It's NFL, third week of the season. Right. Both teams are injured. What do you expect? You know, right. at the end of the day. In their house. It's going to, in their house. They did a good job. The 10th week of the season, we're going to know where everybody's at. All right. That's right. the bottom line. And by then, the 49ers will be back up. Well, you got to figure you got the, the Rams and the 49ers had about four or five players injured. The main guys, the two receivers for the Rams, four players for the for the uh, 49ers. So, so this game was kind of like a scratch in your mind. You think? No, nah, it was it was it was up to you know who's going to want it more. Yeah. Right. At the end of the day, we're going to find out who's going to be in the tenth tenth week of the season. We're going to know who's going to win. All right. We're going to know who where everybody's at. But I tell you one thing, Cowboys suck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we can agree on that. Yeah.
I think everybody can agree. They won. It's all right. But wait until our f***ing players come back and whoop the f***ing ass. All right. All right. We know how the 49ers feel. I feel like this game is a scratch. We're missing Debo. We're missing Kittle. We're missing McCaffrey. Right. I'm not going to take away from the Rams. They came out here. Hey, they're missing players, too. They came out here. They did what they did. Took it to a took it to an overtime. Right. Well, honestly, not without not overtime, but it should have been overtime. No excuses. The Rams. No excuses. Hey. The Rams. Hey, look. Absolutely. Brock Purdy played well, though. You have to feel Brock good about Purdy. that. I, Brock Purdy played very well. I feel very well. I feel very good about going into the season. If history repeats itself, it don't matter what the Niners end at. We end at nine and seven. We end at ten and six. We end at ten and seven. We end at eleven and six. It doesn't matter. Once we get our offensive pieces back, once we start clicking on a level where the team is, you know, right, yeah, we're like y'all were last year, we're gonna we're gonna be fine. We're not gonna be fine. I think y'all will too. Yeah. F the Rams. <laughs> bang bang Niner gang. This is Levi South. I don't give a f what anybody says. <laughs> Y'all Ram fans. So the 49ers have beaten the Rams at least, what, six of the last seven times? Right, so this right, big right. this win was big for the Rams, especially yeah. because they were down, like what, like 24-17, 24-14? They were down 10 going into the I think it was quarter. actually 24-10 at one point. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the day, they came through. They pulled it out. That, that, that play by Tutu Atwell, that catch was huge. Right. And shout out to the Rams and shout out to them so, right. saving their season because the 0 3 was a death sentence. I was just about to say 0 and 3, all your players out. I know y'all had to be looking down the barrel of yeah, like, man. oh. Yeah, so I mean, it's all about where they go from here. If they can go to Chicago next week and beat Caleb Williams, then it's a whole new season. Then you got the Packers a week after that. So right. it's got to be a bonus to make the 49ers go to 1 and 2. Exactly. <laughs> so, and to beat them twice now. Yeah. And I know they've beaten us a lot of times, but this one. And the NFC Championship one was big. So we'll see what happens for the rest of the season. 49ers got some issues because they players, they key, they got key but key guys out for a long period of time. So we'll see if Cooper. I guess we'll, we'll see, see. If, if Cooper can get back. But I think you. the NFC West is wide open. So I wish y'all the best of luck. Hey, Seattle sure. is much better than we thought they were. Yeah, That's for sure. They kind of look like that 2014. Uh, see, look. These 49ers fans are loud, man. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> so do you feel like this game is kind of like a scratch? Like you're just looking on the next week? Like no, you had a lot of players not. out? Of course not. I, I've had questions for, you know, a long time. That's why it hurt so bad losing the Super Bowl because I knew we weren't going to be that healthy again. You know what right. I mean? So you but, have health concerns, which you're most of worried. Of course. I've had health concerns since I've been a fan. Right. That's why it hurt so bad because we've never been that healthy going into a game like the Super Bowl last yeah, year. Yeah, right. He's so, uh, man, Patrick Mahomes is just like. But no excuses, man. You know, yeah. we, we had it in our hands. Jake Moody missed the kick. So, right. you know, good games, guys. Good games. Why Why do y'all want to cut the kicker? Yeah. Didn't he miss a kick? Yeah, he missed a few. Like last year, the Browns could have sent it, could have won the game for us. Right. But, and then over here, could have sealed it for us. But, no good. Right. No good. Yeah, I know. Do you think that's the main reason why you lost, or do you blame anybody else? Are you oh, like Matt? Defense, man. Defense, yeah. We definitely got our coach. Well, I thought it was really good. I thought we stayed very mentally strong, and the art of the comeback is one that has sort of fallen off. And I thought that it was super, super exciting to see uh, the progression from how we started pretty cold and we didn't really look like a team to really just fighting and staying in the moment. Yeah. I thought that was super entertaining. Sure, yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys. Make sure to subscribe to Fango Media to watch all of our latest content.